as a brief primer to understand this topic on why I don't do propaganda is to understand that the Hong Kong handover was in reality should really in ultimate reality should be termed by historians as the as the Xiangang, as the Hong Kong force over. No handover, force over. The Han handover of Hong Kong was based on coercion by the Chinese side. Was based on military power. The whole negotiation is just farce. So this is going to explain, based on Deng Xiaoping, based on the fact that Hong Kong was not handed over to China because, or oh, because the British wanted, you know, truly agreed. They didn't agree. If they could have stopped the handover, if the British could prevail in an armed conflict with China, they would. And in fact, as they did with Argentina over the Falklands, if the British for one single nanosecond thought they could beat China militarily, they would never hand over Hong Kong. This is now we pivot to why I don't do propaganda and I don't build bridges. When I see a bridge between China and the Western world, when I see some propagandistic bridge of friendship, my goal is to figuratively burn that bridge, set it ablaze, cross the Rubicon. I came, I saw, I conquered, and I ravished. Okay, so for this final topic, we're, this is called turning the blade inwards. External warfare and internal warfare. It has come to my attention that some cadres and comrades have a view slightly different than my own, which is a problem. Let's get to let's get to this problem here. We're turning the blade inwards. Many cadres, it has come to my attention that some comrades and cadres are embarrassed by Mao Zedong. Not only are they embarrassed by Mao Zedong, they do not they they, they refrain from praising Mao Zedong. They they don't want anything to do with Mao Zedong. They don't want to see Mao Zedong praised. And that's that's gonna be this is gonna be the next this is this is the pivot to my politics. I don't do fucking propaganda. So I know so let me say it like this. I have what's basically essentially just I, I know exactly who does propaganda, who doesn't. I know exactly which specific persons are paid by the Communist Party and the state, state supported in part, state funded, or in part or in whole by the Chinese Com Communist Party of China, Zhongguo Gongchandang, or whatever ministries of Zhongguo Gongchandang thereof. That's the so, and these people have an assignment. Let me tell you what it's like. They have this philosophy. So, so here's. I think this goes back to the saving face culture. The propagandists have the assigned objective. They're, they are supposed to do propaganda. Basically, it means. Let me tell you. Let's just say what I don't believe in. I don't believe in victory, but I don't believe in making friends. I don't believe in building bridges between China and the Western world. I don't believe in fostering understanding between China and her competitors. I don't believe in fostering friendship, understanding, cooperation, win-win scenarios, win-win bullshit between China and countries such as the United States, Australia, whatever. You see, you, when, I've, when I praise, when I say that I have this bizarre love affair with Vladimir Putin, I speak from the bottom of my black heart. Fei Chang hand. Fei Chang Cho. Hand. Now, comrades, listen. I don't believe in bridge building. I don't believe in friendship building. What I do believe in we're going to pivot to the next slide. What I do believe in is summed up. A picture is worth a thousand words. Move. The powerful do not apologize to anyone for anything. The powerful and the most unilaterally sovereign countries do whatever, whatever the fuck they want to do. 
When you do propaganda, you're a weakling. When you want to influence opinion, you're a weakling. If you want to influence opinion to be favorable towards you, you're a weakling. You know what's not a weakling? When you just go to the field and just do it. So let me just make this clear. When I speak about Hong Kong, when I speak about anything China related that's come from political vic conviction, I do not do propaganda. I am not sponsored. I am not paid by anyone. Everything I say is based on whatever I think. You see, I don't serve anyone else. My philosophy is I don't serve the party. The party must serve me. I don't serve the cadres. The cadres must clap for me. Pai shou, pai shou, pai shou. And don't you fucking dare stop clapping. No, I'm, I'm not making a threat. I'm just, I'm just, it's just, just kind of, it's, that's just the tongue in cheek. You know, the Stalin, everybody keep, Yosef Stalin, Yosef Stalin. Um, okay. Secret police, look who's, who is stop clapping first? Who is stop clapping first? Who is first stop clapping? Who is first stop clapping? Great leaders. Okay, everybody stop clapping. Everybody tries to synchronize. Stop clapping. No one wants to be the first stop clapping. Stop clapping. Stop clapping. How? 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 What should I do? The powerful do not do propaganda, so I don't do propaganda. My goal is not to foster understanding between China and other countries. My goal is not to make friends between China and other countries. My goal is to emphasize, to enhance power. And when you're powerful, you do whatever the fuck you want to do, which is exactly. So in summary, I, this is what I believe in. I, I despise propaganda. I believe in power. And I, and I have a very love, weird love affair with Vladimir Putin. It's an emotional love affair psychological love with Putin, emotional love with Putin, um, not, not physical love with Putin. No, not, not, not quite. 